Okay, here we are with our 2x4s. And here's the finished product. And here's Jasmine modeling for you. Like it, Jazz? Does it feel uh -huh. good on your feet? There we go, fits her feet quite nicely. This is what they look like installed in their cage. This is uh, Thumper's cage actually. Gives them uh, lots of nice different shape spots for their feet. That's kind of important so their feet don't get worn out in one spot. Here's another look at the perches. Um, you could make a mock live edge out of this if you were trying to imitate some live edge and some 2x10 or 2x12 for a countertop. It'd be pretty easy. Here's the tools I used. Basically just a skill saw, a grinder, screwdriver, clamp, and all the necessary safety gear. If you're not uh, experienced with these tools, you should probably get someone who is, just for safety reasons. Be careful, safety first. Here I am just cutting out the V's. I made some marks on the wood just so it would show up better in the video, but it's just a series of random V-shaped pieces I'm cutting out with the saw. It's pretty basic. I would have just eyeballed it if I wasn't doing the video. And the pieces just pop out with a screwdriver. Um, depending on the grain and how hard you pry, it is possible to uh, pop your two by four right in half. So you want to be a little careful doing this because otherwise you're back to square one, but they generally come out fairly easily. Now I'm just uh, hitting it with the grinder. As you can see, I didn't even have to follow any of those lines. Um, and I'm just sort of grinding away. Every time I make a flat spot, I'll just hit the, uh, hit the peak again and you know, basically make it as curvy or as funky as you want to make it. If you're making a natural edge, I just try and make it a bunch of random shapes for the bird's feet. If you're doing a mock live edge for a countertop or something like that out of a 2x10 or a 2x12, you'd obviously you'd finish it much more than uh, what I'm doing. I'm trying to be a little more aggressive on the bottom just to, just to give it a bit of a lip closer to the top. It seems like their talon just hooks over there nicely. Uh, they seem to like it, so I like to put it in there for them. I can show you at the end of the video, I got a zoom in of, of that picture. I'd also like to mention, uh, make sure the wood you're using is safe for birds. Um, you just have to do your own research on that. I'm just tapping it here and there with the grinder just to give it a bit of a, some random different flat edges here and there. Um, the more variation they have for their feet, the better off they are. Um, they'll find the spots they like. And coming up, here's a close-up of the lip I was talking about earlier that their uh, talon seems to just tuck over. Um, here's another picture. And here they are all finished up. I cut some miters on those shorter ones so they'd fit in a corner nicely. Hit the like and subscribe button, we'd appreciate that. Um, Jasmine and Thumper and I will be doing on the next video, a toy review. Some of their favorite toys and some of the ones that uh, are easy to maintain and keep them busy. Peace everybody, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.